Welcome back to Double Cross. We just fed a corpse to the mechanist disposal machine where right now. Let's see if we can find out what is actually going on. With, uh, with that. I see a dropped note over there. I'm going to have to see if I can pick that up. Again, I don't know where it's dark and light, so this is awkward. Like, there's a light there, but... Hmm. It's a dark patch here, so let's just wait. Wait for this infernal beast to make its rounds again. And be facing away from me. Now, that looks like a control panel. Doesn't look like something I can... interact with, but I'm not certain. I could, of course... Use a water arrow on the thing. The book. Him 18. The boiler, it is thy heart. The boiler, it is thy heart. The valves, they are thy limbs. The steam, it is thy blood. Praise Karos who forges the boiler, and praise the builder who forges thee. That's the way the music goes, I'm quite sure of it. It's dark here at least. When thou considerest thy place in the world, know that the builder chose thee as a cog in the vast gear of his masterpiece. Take thy place and rejoice, for without all cogs in perfect order, the gear runs not. When thou lookest about thee, see thou that all proceeds in good order, and know that it is a sign from the builder that thou dost thine own part. Karras. Well, that was not worth sneaking across the room for. However, I see a note by the door I have not seen. That might be worth sneaking across the room for. I can only hope. We've got a lot of sneaking across the room to do. At least we get away from the uh, weird music uh, above the altar. Is that a clock or fancy decorative lampshade? I think it's just a fancy decorative lampshade. Probably not something I can steal. Maybe worth trying though. Might be worth trying. Modern day people buy Mechaprots, the nutritious universal protein food of the mechanists. Substantial like a barrack steak, best in quality but reasonably priced. Rich in vitamins, available in many colors and flavors. A Mechaprot, full of energy for all generations. Aha. Uh -huh. <sighs> Not something I can grab. Okay. Good to know. Shit. And that's locked. It's a gear that I've missed before. I need to get behind it now, I'm gonna have to... Right. It's not gonna work. Maybe I should just do this anyway. Maybe I should just do that sooner. What? 
I hit it and it didn't do anything? Okay, that's... I'm going bullshit on that, alright. Let's just try and move into the shadows. There's a patch of shadow there. It saw me again. Lack of, well, complete lack of distinction between light and darks is extremely aggravating. Alright, well, we're out of danger. We've just read the Mega Pro sign. I realize I missed the silver gear, so we're gonna have to go back up and get that. But we have darkness along the way, so that's less of a problem. We don't have darkness on the altar itself, we have darkness right here. He says as he steps into a patch of light that. Looks the same as the patch of darkness. Okay, what? Well. Now we know what they're doing with the corpse dispersal, right? They're turning it into mecha prop. Oh, well. That's good. Can't come in here anyway. Unless the, the silver. No, the silver gear was loot. Which is weird because the gears are normally not loot. They're normally. Uh, Alright, well. I don't know how we get in, but this is not the way we get in. Don't see me. I should probably put an arrow in his but I don't know why it didn't work before. Plus, it can see through all these pillars and the uh, views as well, so it's extremely hazardous. You know what? It is worth. It is worth an arrow. No, it's not worth an arrow. There's absolutely nothing. Okay. Reload to avoid waste. That's not good. It's got the boiler on it and everything. Why did I suddenly get light? I don't know. I'm not actually familiar with its uh, noises. I think it saw me then. I don't care. Well, we're not getting in that way. Let's keep on going. Is there a door opening? Can I get in here? Good. The door doesn't open, but the windows are broken, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not too crazy about the neighborhood. Who's that? Oh, it's a painting staring out at me. So what is happening here then? Oh, we've got a mechanist priest staring at the corner. 
I wonder how I can get up there. I don't know why they're standing staring in the corner, it's very strange. Um, don't know what's up with this door either. It's definitely having an identity crisis there. Right, this is just the, this building. What else is going on in this yard? Nothing, I suppose. I mean, you're not wearing a helmet. You're kind of in my way. Oh. Comrade Cadaver. Comrade Cadaver now. Thanks to the magic of vines. the magic of Garrett's <laughs> amazing uh, mantle skills. I'm going to turn the uh, audio down. Oh, it is low already. This game is just distracting me. Distracting music. Oh, that seemed to change it. Maybe it's not marked as an ambient, or maybe it's low enough that it's not enough of a difference. I have no idea where I am or what I'm doing or why I'm here, but. Probably don't want that guy staring at us. He's got a sword. Turns, he's twitchy as hell. I'm getting too jumpy. <coughs> keeps turning around. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. <coughs> You're a liability being that jumpy. Constantly turning every <coughs> half second. Some more broadheads. <laughs> well, let's see how we can get back to the rest, the rest of the town. Hey, Ratty. We got here another little view into the basement. Oh, that's a fancy basement. Ooh, valuables. Ah. Does not look safe to jump down to. It just also does not look like I've got anywhere I could attach an arrow to. There is something down there. Oh well, okay, we've got the slow pull potion, don't we? Perhaps I should use it. Don't seem to be able to get in those doors. Was there any other door? Maybe I do have to slow fall. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any other kind of door. All right. Good thing I bought one, huh? Would be in a bit of a pickle without it. Hmm, pickle. Doesn't seem to be anything up there. This might be where the robbers are hanging out, it looks likely. <laughs> you? What's up with your face? You don't look too healthy.
Who are you? Okay then, Phantomas, you've never been generous, and I've always been loyal. I've risked my ass in that bank, and what was it worth to you? Pottery 300 bucks that you want to claw back as gambling debts? That's not fair, what with a load of dice in your CD casino. Well, I've had enough. I'm leaving this town, and I'll make sure that I won't have to see your ugly blue face ever again. You'll find your loot at my shelter up in the harbour warehouse. Use the key that came with this note. Go take your money, and I hope you get what's coming to you. Good riddance. Chuck. Aha, that's the... Well, the key we need for the harbour. Hello? What did that do? Or did that move the... Thorax head, right. Oh, let's take the Harbour Warehouse key. You know what, Blueface? Why don't you just stay quiet there? What? It's a, uh... Odd elevator? Wouldn't you say? <clears throat> no light switch. Um, I guess they put on different faces when they go out to do jobs. Huh. What have we got here? Keep the sound down, I guess. Secret passage. Hello, a diving helmet. That is this fan thing at the bottom of the chimney? What the hell? Something <laughs> going on with this guy, and I don't know what. I mean, there's clearly a lot of stuff going on with this guy. Oh, we can't close it back up again, okay. Well, let's take the elevator then. The table later. We've definitely found some of the people responsible. Ah, uh, that's why it's upside down table, because you would never guess it was an elevator just to look at it. I see. It's cunning, guys, cunning. Didn't make sense from down below, but from up here, it suddenly does. Always nothing. It's never anything exciting. I'm gonna burn another water out, I think. What was that? What's going on here? Three, four, five, six. Cash receipts. Casino, thirty-eight, forty-five. Protection, two, fifty. Marked. Oh, good. Sixty-five hundred. Gambling debts. D, eighteen hundred. Gambling debts. L, eleven hundred. Note: Pick up the loot from Chunk in the warehouse. He keeps three hundred for his cooperation on the bank job, minus his gambling debts. Cash disbursements. Weekly pays: four times one hundred. Grease, five hundred. Beverages, seven hundred. Tea, three hundred. To set against debts. about your valuable plate here on display. I will have that, thank you very much. Ooh, tasty. What have we got hanging on the wall over there? Hat and a cane.
Out of order. Oh, I see. This is their uh, illegal casino. Mm -hmm. Say again. Hmm. Hello. Hard. Turn the lights out in here. If I stick close to the walls, I have a chance of not being seen. Chop some, hmm. sir. Odd. I wonder, does this work? No. That should work. Someone should look into that. But a breeze and nothing more. <laughs> You've got a nice purse on you, sir. Be a shame if anybody was to take it. Don't spin the roulette wheel. Oh, shame. Is that the best you can do? Hmm. This isn't right. That's be a bit of meat now and then. Somebody else right there. Okay, I don't want to. I want to fight two guys at once. We'll have to uh, negotiate my way around two guys at once. <clears throat> but I don't remember how long this lady takes to come back. Sir. Thank you. Okay, we can go up there. It's down here. Um, noisy metal floor, all right. Turn off all the lights? No. That's a crying shame. Okay, where is this? Upstairs in the abandoned factory, I guess. Let's have some darkness. Back in there easily enough. <laughs> but it made making lots of noise on these. Some metal beams. If we climb up that, is it going to take us anywhere? Well it does look like it might, you know. Let's check out the stairway first though. Hey, I'm not deaf, you know. These fellas don't seem too friendly. Take care. 
I was fucking creaky. I was just nothing. Creaky wood. Those are all turned off. I'm not a fan of the creaky wood. It just doesn't look, it looks identical to ordinary wood and it's as bad as tile floor. What have we got there? Diamond drill. What are we even doing up here? Can I read that? Looks like another note, but... What am I stuck on? What am I stuck on? Is there anything visible there? There it is, that's weird. You just wait, I'll find you. Hmm, maybe it was rats. Definitely not a fan of the creaky wood. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything back here. I guess on the plus side, for the way this place is lit, I can't tell when it, what's light and what's shadow, but when it is all fully dark like this, I can at least see. Can I get over to that window? Seems unlikely, right? Oh. Let's try again. I mean, it should be possible, but maybe it's not big enough to get through. Oh. Yeah. This does not seem like a viable plan here. <laughs> Quiet carrot. Maybe I could just climb this thing. <laughs> I can, maybe that works better. Nope. At least I don't hurt myself. <laughs> Give it one more go. Nope, not getting in there, okay. I don't know what that's for then. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, that's this. Passageway, right. I shouldn't even be here, I should be. Wait, this just goes back around. Hey. So what am I even doing in here? I'm getting too jumpy. I mean, stealing lots of loot, but... Come out, come out, wherever you are! Oh, you heard something, <laughs> I don't know why you heard. <laughs> Gotta be way up there. Does the vine arrow stick to that? Probably not, right? No. Doesn't. It's not grill like. I didn't expect it to, but I don't know what the rules are for vine arrows that they've got in this. I mean, the rules for them in. Leaf itself are pretty, uh... Let me see. Did I check out that steam missile? Is that a thing I can interact with? Quietly. There's three switches up here that I can't interact with as well. No, that's nothing. Right. So what am I doing then? Go into the water, but the water is noisy. It's better to go this way. Ooh. Might knock out these people just so I can explore a little more safely. <laughs> Pretty 
pretty dark out here. I don't think anybody's going to notice you uh, napping. Oh. I was going to say you turned the light back on, but no, the light was always on. I think you're going to be introduced to my friend Blackjack as well. Well, I could try and find my way out. I don't know the way out. That's the problem. As I said, try and find my way out and uh, to the dockside place. Let's take a look at this window. There's something clearly some, some something in here, right? All I, can, all I can see is roof from here. But if I climb back up onto the, uh, I think I'm okay to make noise from this far away from anywhere. <laughs> Crouch down up here, which I can't do. Oh, there is something in there. How do I get there? I don't know. Maybe I actually just get there normally because that's east. This tunnel heads east, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe that's just upstairs. Mm -hmm. You have a sword, by the way. Hello? No, you don't. That's fine. Anyone there? How do the customers get here? <laughs> well, Mr. Blue Face does seem like he might be responsible for things. This is a suspicious case as well, but I don't know if it was super suspicious. Well, I do need, ah, there's a way to use the lift. Ah, there we go. So that was just the bathroom with a passageway that I couldn't make sense of. Oh, that's right. I got him in through the... So this is like a chamber that he sits in. Came in through there. I can't get out that way. I think, Blueface, maybe you're better off. Hey. Better off asleep, Fan Thomas. I am not a fan of Thomas. If he is. Well, it clearly doesn't open, so it's just not of value to me, but... Hmm. Maybe that's part of attaching the face, I don't know. So I'm not getting out this way, that's for sure. So there has to be a way out up here. And yet I can't find one. I mean, I also can't find a way in. Right, for the customers. This is, I guess, was the way in for the customers, but it's out of order, so that's not helpful. <laughs> There's nothing else in here that's relevant to me. Hmm. Odd. Is someone there? So then where do I go? I guess I can go in the water. All the good it does. <laughs> That's the room with the lights. I mean, I can try the switches again. I 
It's just the other end of the passage. I definitely can't read that. It does feel like I need to go in through that window, but... I just don't know how I'm supposed to get there. Unless I am supposed to make that jump from the beam, and it's just... I simply can't do anything with those. I just need to try that jump from the beam again and again and again until it works. I haven't found anything I can pick up and stand on, have I? I mean, speed potion, I suppose, but... <laughs> I'm not even standing properly here. feel right like like what I'm supposed to do I'm not standing on them Definitely doesn't feel right <laughs> that I'm having to do this. I'm not very good at item stacking either. Save. <laughs> Reload. <clears throat> I need to get that jump slightly. No, I'm just not getting, getting the speed I need. This can't be right. <laughs> Can't be right, and yet I don't know what else to do. Well, I'm probably going to break something, but sorry if I keep trying to do that. Right, some of this mission planning—like it's clearly not what I'm supposed to be doing, but I don't know what I am. It does feel a little early to be ending the episode, so I'm just going to. A, a break here and go look it up. Look up a clue because I am, I'm stuck. Well, turns out that uh, having everything be super dark is a problem. The the place I need to get to is indeed the same place as through there, but it's not like there's a secret exit or anything you need. We're already in. Uh, you know, we found the secret bit by the chimney. There's an archway here. I don't know how I didn't see that. Like, I was looking around here. I guess I was always looking at it from a slight angle where the floor just kind of blends in. And I never happened to, you know, walk straight up here. I come around and look from here and I can't see it either. I'd just be walking past this exit the whole time. Just completely undifferentiated walls uh, as far as I could see. So that's it. All it was. Here's the lift for the customers, right? Out of order. And that's the city streets. It's not easy. <laughs> Tapper indeed. Oh, that's going to be a noisy stair. You know what? Let's make sure he's 
sleeping very soundly. Half a... Yeah, squeaky wood. Yeah, right, this is the window that I was just trying to desperately climb in. I mean, I suppose you could probably get in from this side. And drop down, that's why that's there. It's the crate I would have needed, it's not movable as well. I hear someone on the street outside, to be a little quiet. There is something, someone's tried to stash some loot up behind these. Huh? I'll take that. Okay. Back out to the streets then. Well, to the out outside of the warehouse. So unfortunately, there's uh... I didn't find anything about my predicament, because of course nobody else was stuck that particular way. <laughs> of, oh well, it's just a pathway, you know, you just walk down it. Um, but I did learn some other unfortunate secrets, but not everything. Um, I avoided anything that didn't wasn't talking about this thieves warehouse, but uh, the button to open this gate from the outside is right there on the roof. Gotta shoot it. Um, so, but I still don't have any objectives to be here, right? I clearly came away from somebody who's behind this, but I don't know. I feel like there's maybe more I should have got from here, but I don't know. I can come back if there is. Oh, this is out by the, uh, the bank again. I don't want to be here, do I? How do I get into this house? Oh, it's the mall. How do I get into the mall? I don't know, we've still got the police to worry about. Right, here's another vine that's not climbable, unlike the one that is climbable in the mission. I've Complained before about uh, vines. You know what I mean? I'm going to reload. I'm going to go out the way I came in. I'll drop over that one. I don't think I'm getting anywhere that way. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Just wandering randomly, basically. But we do have the key to the dockside warehouse, at least. So that's something I can do. Oh, you're guarding the thieves' place. You must be in cahoots. Cahoots and nice boots. Is there anything here? There's a window that might be vineable. It is indeed vineable. Oh, there's another one there. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is the Magnus building. I mean, I'm kind of stuck and can't... There we go. Couldn't crouch properly. So is this our way into the Magnus building, rather than going in the front door? I mean, that's much more sneaky. Very appropriate for Garrett. A lot of carpet. They have some uh, secret mechanist language going on there. Some shoes. I mean, they look like nice slippers, right? Nice and soft. If only I could have worn them. Going around on all this metal. You 
should not have seen anything. You have your eyes shut. Energy crystal. Ah, oh, these guys are powered by the energy crystals, so that's why the boiler isn't uh, active. Okay. I wonder if I could shoot the energy crystal off. I don't know, probably not. <laughs> I probably couldn't make the shot, even if I tried to do it. That's, that's my thinking there. Empty. Alright, he's gonna see me try to pick the lock, I guess. Yeah, he's got his eyes shut, but he still sees, so that's... It's unfortunate. And they've still got the visible boiler, but they can't... Can't be put out. He actually went so far. Oh, roof. Well, that'll be a way out. Nothing else. Try that other door. I wish you the source. I do not know. You have seen nothing. You have heard nothing. You know nothing. Another bedroom, okay. Mulky, all right. Is that a mechanist painting? I guess. Karis sitting in a lounging in a big metal chair. He's got look at his metal gloves, holding a gear in his hand. I haven't seen that picture before. I wonder if that's some fan I have not. I'm unfamiliar with. Fancy crystal thing. Empty wardrobe. Boring books. I mean, I'm surprised the mechanism didn't have books. Aha. This is the other window. Where could I come in? Alright. We could get onto the factory roof from here, maybe, but that seems possibly out of bounds. I'm gonna try it. If it'll let me mantle this. Which it kind of will. This is not standing on this properly. I'm not gonna be able to jump. Nah, that's not going to be doable. Never mind. Okay, it should be pitch black in this room, so it's extremely bright. But... You have to go to the, try the door at the far end now. I don't know if it's locked, it might not be. I am grateful for the carpet. When Karis installed the carpet, he said, Praise the builder, now my ears shall have a rest from all the clanking. Yeah. Well, that's all the carpet I'm getting, I guess. Unluckily for me, Garrett. What is that? What does this say? Conference room. You know what? Let's check out these doors up here. This carpet again. Ugh. But 
Very bright in here. Oh, there's a golden child. Great. Is that a vent I can open? It's a vent that I cannot open. Okay. The first entries apparently date back several years. At long last, the Hammerites are gone, and the little fire we kindled in their temple has driven off the heretics. Unfortunately, the empty chambers have become haunted, which prevents their further use. With the blessing of Father Carrots, however, we are building our own structure made entirely of metal, which cuts off the mountain pilgrimage route to the old monastery. May the Hammerites be forgotten, and may our temple proclaim the age of metal here also. Since one can no longer use the old monastery's cemetery for burials, we are now accepting the bodies of the deceased. No doubt we will think of a practical use for the corpses. In a few lines of a more recent date. In a city full of unbelievers, temple visitors are rare, and yet there are a number of women who wish to become novices here. We also manufacture goods, not the metal children of Karos, but Mechaprot, the new sensational synthetic foodstuff that the population can't get enough of. No wonder, it is much cheaper than food from the countryside. We could scale up production in the old factory next door, but people still come and go there. Strange. In any case, Father Karos was delighted, expressly praised our work, and awarded us the golden gear for it followed by later entries in a different handwriting. Enough is enough. The behaviour of our male comrades is unbearable. Why so? Well, for good reasons. Anyone who joins our order gets a new identity. But the men give the women stupid names, names that make us look, make us look ridiculous. Whenever one of them calls for one of us, they all laugh. And they keep saying, hurry up with our drinks, cook us a delicious burg stew, sew our garments on, and so on. We are nothing but servants here. They even pinched since sister influenza on the bottom. Who do they think they are? We'll teach them our lesson. Today, the gentlemen feasted for the very last time. Their menu included barrack roast flavoured with sleeping pills and plenty of heavy wine. Cheers! They'll sleep off the hangover in the cellar with the heathens that we have taken out of circulation over the years. We, on the other hand, are moving into the much more comfortable rooms on the top floor with immediate effect. Finally, someone probably wrote this note a short time ago. It proves that we, too, can stand as men, er, uh, as women. We are helping Mr. Doyle, the gendarmerie commander, arrest a dangerous bank robber today. With Doyle, we have at least one upright officer in this town. So, onward, comrades. Mechanus. Always the do-gooders. I'm not sure where that came from, Garrett. It did see me. He didn't know what he was looking at. Supply closet, okay. Carpeted supply closet? I mean, sure. No point in going here. Thanks, Garrett. Yes, you cannot possibly tell the truth. Uh, tell a lie. I mean... Barracks. Metal floor. Ugh. Some respite from all that stomping and worrying. Okay, it's a big locker. Another vent I can't open. At least, I'm, I mean, I'm not bothered by the vents I can't open. I like that they are clearly putting air vents in so that when there is one that you can use, it feels a little more justified. It also means I have to check them all suspiciously, but you know, that's fine. I don't think there's anybody around to hear me if I make a noise, but I still obviously want to be careful on metal. I needn't bother here. Jump on the bed, Garrett. Boing, boing. Nothing to say, Garrett? 
the matter? Cat got your lips and tongue like a child of Karis. This so this is where the men were staying, where well, the women were staying before, and then we moved into the upper rooms. So these are empty now. Don't even know what that's supposed to be. A bit of pipe or something. Okay. Physics, huh? New bathroom. <laughs> it's put a big X on the urinal because nobody's going to be using that anymore. That's funny. And uh, all the bathroom cleaning products. That's not a vent I can use, is it? No, okay. So nothing, nothing, seems to be nothing in the barracks at all for me. Alright. So we need to go downstairs where our little annoying friend is. And that's going to be awkward, I think, getting past him. He comes and goes pretty quickly and it seems fairly light down there. I do you like this door? I don't remember. That's not a stock one, that's a custom one, but it's very good. Hear another voice. I have heard a malfunction. Doing the uh, open your eye and spin in a circle looking for the source of the noise. I do like their behavior, but for some reason these ones are actually seeing stuff, which just means their behavior does not actually fit what it was in Thief 2. That would take me somewhere. Basement. You know, I should try and see if I can hit his little crystal there. Let's reload. Answer seems to be no.
Dang it. It's not dark. And it needs picking. Well, maybe it needs a key, I don't know. Let's burn another moss here so I can do this silently. Don't like it, but... Thanks for your ears, because I keep hearing me. I'm gonna need a key for that. Will he see me here as he comes out? I hope not. Oh, there's a vent there, maybe I can use that. Comrades of the Gear, our indefatigable work in this town has gained recognition. Father Karras has, in person, honoured us, honored us with the Golden Gear as an award. Of course, such a precious accolade cannot be exhibited without security measures. On the other hand, you should always be able to enjoy the sight of our trophy in order to regain your strength for new projects. That is why it will be visible to all behind safety glass, Comrade Adapter. Golden Gear, I see. What do these switches do? When I sit in judgment, the builder before me, and he asks, Harris, what hast thou built? I will answer thusly. I have built a church for thee, solid and good, and also for thee, countless structures. I have forged minions of children, wrought innumerable tools, all in your name. He will be pleased, and I will take my place by his side. Take that dummy exercise of mine. And then we've got the training dummy and uh, the training dummy that's a hammer, right? I appreciate that. I'm gonna hit the other button too, things, yeah. Wait for this other guy to come and go, I think. So there's a safety glass, there's gotta be a way to open it, but. Surely we can steal the golden gear, it's golden after all. Got a silver gear for us. Wow, that golden child has moves. I didn't think they've danced so well. All right, we're either going. To... Either we can get in here, which we can't, or I'm going to have to go down in that hole. I guess we're going down the hole. Is this just the way out? I didn't really want to come out. Ah, oh, bollocks. Well, it's easy enough to get back in. I know where we are. 
is where we died before. Unfortunately, the current took me away from that air pocket too quickly. Can I make it to the next one? Oh. Not quite. Well, I have a healing potion. I have 12 apples. food? No, okay. Alright, well, we kind of know what the mechanism is up to, but we didn't find any incriminating evidence. We found a way out and nothing more. Still very confused as to what I'm doing and why and how. Um... There's on the door here. As of now, the shop is closed. We hope our honoured clientele will soon visit us in the new downtown mall to buy selected flowers and garden accessories. Your florist, Evil Wilberforce. Well, we did get the key to the mall, so we can get back into the Magnus building when we need to. Maybe we should check out the mall. Or the laundry. You know what, though? <laughs> the door and the bell rings for a customer. I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon for the next one.